The key to reaping good returns on your investment is by starting at an early stage and continuing to do so in a disciplined manner. When it comes to investment, PPF or Public Provident Fund is the most preferred long-term investment option in India. It is government-backed, high-yielding, small savings scheme that is meant to create long-term wealth for the investors post-retirement. Launched in 1968, this scheme has today become a very powerful tool for most investors wherein they get tax benefits. It is the most sought-after investment option as it is 100% risk-free and it does not move in with the stock exchange rates that tend to change on a day-to-day -day basis. Many people invest in PPF, but very few are aware of its or very few recognizes its value. While there are no other investment option which is as flexible and as beneficial as PPF, the biggest obstacle that most people see in PPF is its lock-in period. I'm sure you too might consider the maturity period of 15 years too long, right? But let me tell you a fact. If you plan your investment methodically, then this lock-in period actually becomes a boon to you and that you can actually become a crorepati by it. Yes, you heard that right. How is that possible? Let's explore that in this video. Hi, I'm Ramata. Welcome to IndianMoney.com. Let's get started. Well, many people who invest in PPF, they are very well aware of the benefits of PPF. But there are certain things that most people might not be aware of that can actually double their returns on PPF investments. Yes, and that includes the first one is invest before or on 5th of every month. Now, when you're making monthly contributions towards your PPF contribution or PPF account, then it is advisable that you invest on or before 5th of a particular month to maximize your returns. By doing so, you get maximum returns when compared to the investors who are investing after the 5th of a particular month. Now, this is because the PPF interest rate is, although compounded annually, it is calculated on a monthly basis. And thus, by investing on or before the interest rate is calculated, then you get maximum returns on it. The second one is invest lump sum amount at the beginning of financial year. Now, another way to maximize your PPF investment returns is by investing a lump sum amount at the beginning of financial year. To be more precise, you need to invest a lump sum amount on or before 5th of April. Now, this is because the PPF interest is calculated at the beginning or throughout the April to March. So, thus by investing a lump sum amount, one-time deposit, you end up earning an interest throughout the year. The third one is schedule monthly investment in PPF. While it is not mandatory for you to make monthly investment or monthly contribution towards your PPF account, and only a minimum of rupees 500 will keep your PPF account active throughout the year, but for you to get maximum returns or the maximum benefits of PPF investment, it's very important and it is advisable that you make monthly contribution or regular contribution towards your PPF account. Regular contribution is one of the best saving tips. Give a standard instruction to your bank to make monthly contribution, monthly transfer towards your PPF account. Now, the sum that you want to invest can be anything that you're comfortable with, that you can afford. So instruct your bank to transfer a sum of amount that you're comfortable with towards your PPF account regularly. The next one is open PPF account with a bank that offers you or that provides you online facility. Now, a PPF is a long-term investment option and for you to get maximum returns, you need to stay invested regularly. If you have no other option than to visit your bank or the post office and for cash contribution towards your PPF account, then it's more likely that you might miss or you might skip your installments regularly. While on the other hand, if your bank offers you an online Trans a net banking transfer facility, then it's more likely that you will stay regularly invested and thereby you will improve your chances of getting maximum returns on your investment. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this video that by investing in PPF, you can also become a crorepati. Let's now understand with the help of a calculator, how can you achieve that milestone? So as in how you click on the first link, there's already a default set, which is early investment. And it also shows you the time period in years and it will also show you the rate of interest and later it will also show you the invested amount as well as the total interest and maturity value. So here the dummy calculator shows you that the person has year in a year he or she has invested rupees 10,000 and for the time period that is for 
15 years and later the rate of interest the person or the investor is earning on his or her investment of rupees 10,000 is 7.1 percent in a year and the invested amount in total that is in 15 years will be rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand and the total interest the person will earn on that investment will be rupees 1 lakh 21 thousand 214 and the maturity value will be rupees 2 lakh 71 thousand 214 this is after the period tenure of 15 years is completed now let's calculate this based on an individual so let's say you're investing rupees 500 in a year and a PPF account and for the period of 15 years and the rate of interest you will earn on your investment is 7.1% in a single financial year. So the total invested amount you will have to pay or to you will have to deposit is rupees 7500 and the total interest you will be earning on that will be rupees 6061 and the maturity value that is after the end of 15 long years of on your investment you will earn rupees 13,561. Now let's assume that you have invested the maximum which is 1,50,000 for the period of 15 years and you will earn the rate of interest of 7.1%. So the total amount that you will have to invest in your PPF account will be rupees 22,50,000 and the intra total interest you will earn on the investments that you make will be rupees 18 lakh 18,209 and at maturity that is after the completion of 15 years you will earn 40 lakh 68,209 this is after the completion of 5 years now let's say let's suppose you are planning to save and make a lump sum of rupees in a year you can invest rupees 1 lakh 50,000 and the time period let's say you are investing you are extending your PPF account for next 5 years so let's make it as 20 years and the rate of interest you'll earn will be 7.1%. So if you are to invest rupees 1.5 lakh for the period of 20 years, then the total investment amount you have to make is rupees 30 lakh and the total interest you will earn on that will be rupees 36 lakh 58,288 and the maturity value that is after the completion of 20 years will you will return you will get rupees 66 lakh 58288 this is how you can accurately make it up to 50 lakh that is you will save over 50 lakhs in a period of 20 years now let's say you are investing rupees 500 for the period of 20 years that is after the completion of 15 years you have you choose to in extend your ppf account for next 5 years and you are earning the rate of interest 7.1% so the total invested amount will be rupees 10,000. The total interest you will earn on that will be rupees 12,194 and maturity value will be rupees 22,194. Now let's understand that if you're going beyond 50 lakh and you want to save over 50 lakh. So let's take that you're investing rupees maximum amount of 1.5 lakh. For the period, let's say 25 years now. And you're earning the rate of interest, that is 7.1%. So the total investment amount for you will be rupees 37,50,000. And the total interest you'll earn on your investment amount will be rupees 65,58,015 rupees. And the maturity value will be rupees 1 crore 3 lakhs 815 rupees. So this is how if you're investing. So if you're keeping your PPF account and you're investing for 25 years long investments, then you can accurately earn or save over a crore rupees. So these were a few of the points and we also looked at the, with the help of a calculator, how you can become a crore pati with your PPF investment. There are several multiple schemes that will give you maximum returns. But the only thing that you need to be aware of those things to effectively utilize your investments and get maximum returns. And PPF investment is one such scheme that gives you maximum returns. Also to know more about such schemes, you can download our Financial Freedom app, wherein we'll teach you in detail about such schemes, investment schemes, and also about other schemes through with the help of which you can earn in lakhs. 
Also, before going for more such content, subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, hit on the like button and do not forget to hit on the bell icon to get notified for our next video. Thank you for watching IndianMoney.com. Get wise and break free.